So when using steel in a home, usually you have to put some kind of embed into the foundation to give something for the steel to be welded to, or in some cases even bolted to, but typically it's welded to. So here you can see on this home, we actually have an embed here. But what happened is this steel, when the concrete was poured and was wet, was inserted and it actually has little sort of spikes coming down into the concrete that's gonna hold the steel when the post sits on top, it will get welded to this plate. Now, one unfortunate thing that happened is when they were pouring this, you guys can see here that there is a gap. The concrete should have been flush to the bottom of it. So when they were pouring it, they didn't vibrate the concrete enough to get rid of that air gap there and the concrete would have come up. It's not a huge deal. We can actually fill that in and pack that so that there's gonna be no issues with that embed later. The structure really is all there. The embeds go probably about 12 or 14 inches deep. I can't remember on this one. So there's a lot of strength there, but we just wanna fill that to make sure there's no extra movement or any kind of extra load on the joints that come down. So when you're doing steel, it's really important that if your job shows steel, that you get this information to your steel supplier early because they need to prepare those embeds. And when you're pouring the concrete, you have to make sure that they're inserted in the correct location and you want them to be as level as possible because when they come put the steel post, they want a level base as possible. They can make some adjustments with grinding the post and when they weld it, because sometimes they just don't get perfectly level. But just something to think about. If your engineer is specking steel, which they are doing more and more in residential homes, make sure you get those embeds made.